Hey guys and uh, what the actual mark here and today uh, today is May 22nd and because this means it's my birthday uh, I'm 20 years old right now It's my birthday Now it's time for me to light my candles Happy birthday No such thing <laughs> Well I'm not sure how am I supposed to start out this video, so I might as well just get on with the news, see what I missed out. Now, uh, some big news for all of you Venom fans and uh, anyone who is excited for the new Sony's Spider-Man universe, and uh, that is being that the Venom movie is going into pre-production, and that means uh, they already got director and uh, the actor for playing uh, Venom, which is now confirmed to be Eddie Brock because uh, there's already Flash Thompson in the in, in Spider-Man Homecoming and, and because of uh, Tony Revolori playing uh, Flash Thompson it's not going to work unless uh, they gave him some kind of a makeover. So Agent Venom is out, now we got Eddie Brock and he's played by Tom Hardy. Yeah, the actor who played the Bane from The Dark Knight Rises and is going to appear in uh, Dunkirk and also in Mad Max, Fury Road. I, I'd say he's a pretty damn good choice. I mean, uh, the man is incredibly buff and he's a really good actor. And uh, and I really hope that they might not screw him up this time like they did with Spider-Man 3. You know, because of, you know, studio interference and all that. Now, the film is being directed by uh, the man who brought uh, Zombieland. The film is being produced by Matt Tomac and Avi Arad. For Matt Tomac, because he, he produced uh, Zombieland and was probably responsible for hiring the director. And uh, why, why Avi Arad is there? Well, simple. He has a hard on for Venom. Story wise, it's this, 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 this. Don't screw this up, because uh, what I'm really excited to see in this film is a new reinvention of Eddie Brock, probably sticking closer to the source material. But but what I'm really uh, worried about is what kind of story did they go with? Uh, is, is Peter Parker going to exist in this uh, film? Because I'm not sure how they're going to make a Venom movie without Peter Parker or Spider-Man. Unless they're going to go for the same way as Deadpool, where Deadpool exists in the same universe as X-Men, but without Wolverine, just the X-Men. And I hope that the villain of the film is Carnage. I mean, we deserve Carnage to be seen. I mean, everyone wanted to see Carnage when Spider-Man 4 was uh, being into pre-production before getting cancelled. So, if it's gonna be Carnage, then I cannot wait to see uh, the, the clash against Venom and Carnage. And it's also going to be in the same universe as the upcoming Black Cat and Silver Sable film. I don't know why. Money. In the other news, uh, Spider-Man 3.1 might not be available on uh, Voodoo, apparently. If you go on Voodoo.com, you can find all five Spider-Man movies included onto the bundle. They also got the already released materials, uh, behind the scenes, and interviews, and Easter eggs, probably. Now, I thought it was some kind of mistake because uh, there wasn't, uh, because it said five movies and it didn't say anything about six or seven or eight if you count the extended version of The Amazing Spider-Man 2, which should be happening, please. Apparently, Spider-Man 2.1 is uh, included as a separate bundle for some reason, and uh, so Spider-Man 3.1 might not happen. Then again, if you go on to dvguide.com, uh, there is Spider-Man 3, the editor's cut. So I'm not sure when it's going to be released. Hopefully it's soon and uh, hopefully we might get some more information about when it's going to be released or uh, what's going to happen uh, because it's rumored to have about 15 minutes of additional footage. So they better not anger the fans. In other news, Michael Giacchino, who is signed on to score Spider-Man Homecoming for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, has posted a video on his Twitter account which features him scoring uh, the Spider-Man theme. Not just any theme, but the one from the 1960s. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. Spins a web, any size, catch his feet, just like guys, look out, here comes the Spider-Man.
when I first heard uh, him uh, composing the, the 1960s theme, my my face just lit up. Like, I had this big shit-eating grin that I was really excited and I'm just really excited about. And I'm just uh, extremely excited about it because it's uh, it's roughly about 30 seconds long and it's probably the uh, Spider-Man variation of uh, the Marvel Studios fanfare and I might make a separate video on how Spider-Man Homecoming might start and that could uh, probably involve uh, retconning a couple of films and uh, might make a little bit of a theory on uh, if fan theories are right you know, to please the fans. Uh, so yeah, Tom Hardy is uh, playing Venom, uh, I'm really excited about it and uh, I cannot wait to hear more of Michael Giacchino's score for Spider-Man Homecoming. And tell me what are your thoughts on uh, Michael Giacchino's score for uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, uh, does it sound good or uh, do you think it needs improvements? And what do you think about Tom Hardy as uh, Venom and do you think he's the right choice uh, for the world or not? Well. Well, just uh, let me know down in the comments. Uh, make sure to subscribe and like the, the video, and uh, see you later. Bye.